what's up guys? Um, just want to say hope everyone's doing pretty good. Um, I just wanted to talk about my first tattoo that I got, uh, which is, happens to be the Lassie tattoo from Final Fantasy XIII. So, this was my very first tattoo, and I'm sorry I'm just going to be rambling and just, everything's going to just derail, so I'm just going to be myself and just say whatever about it. But, uh, the reason I got this was, it all started with me playing Final Fantasy XIII. I saw the trailer of it on my Xbox 360, and I was like, that game looks pretty cool. I want to want to play it. I remember, like, I didn't have a job back then, I was, like, still in, I was in high school, probably, like, a junior or sophomore. Uh, what I ended up doing was, you know, I was like, I want, I want to play that game. It looks pretty sick, just by looking at the, the trailers of it, some gameplay, and what I ended up doing was I just started, you know, doing a lot of yard work. I had a friend of mine that was like, I'll pay you if you clean my room, and if you, uh, if you can pull out all the weeds in my yard, and this is like summertime, so it was like really hot. So, I did all that. I managed to, you know, save enough money for, you know, getting the game, let say the tattoo, but no. I got the game, played it, on the, I was like, holy shit. This game is like, the, it was awesome for me. For me, I mean, later on I figured out people, like, some people didn't like the game, some, a lot of people didn't like it. I, I liked the story with, you know, the, the little C mark and everything. Once I saw that mark and saw it, like, you know, growing, on our, you know, on the characters in the game, I was like, that's a pretty badass tattoo. Which sucks, because, like, the Lassie mark, once a person's branded, it's placed in a random spot for, for that character. So, like, what they have to do is they have to do their mission, do their goal. If they don't do their mission in time, then turn into a monster. But if they do succeed, they turn into crystal, so forth and so on. I mean, they turn into like a crystal which kind of sucks but then you know spoiler alert they do come they wake up eventually fulfilling their goal so and you know, once i saw it, i was like that's pretty i like that that's pretty sick i want to get that and i thought about it through my high school i was like you know should i get that i wasn't really aware how tattoos were i just thought about it through the years after I played it, and I was like, should I get it? I kept thinking about it, and I finally convinced myself, you know what, I like that, that idea of, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know, through whatever that you face, again, sorry I'm rambling, but, like, that's pretty cool, you know, like, for me, it's like, you know, you gotta reach your goal, go through all this crap to get to it, but you'll make it, so. Kind of like a reminder for me, like, just keep going. Keep, keep pushing. Whatever obstacles I face. So. I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to do it. I got my job. I graduated high school. I got my job at a call center for Apple Customer Service. And that job was pretty cool. Um, after being there for a year, I got, like, my first income tax. This was my first income tax, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to use this money, my first income tax, to get myself a tattoo. I'm going to do it. I'm finally going to get this one, so like, I'm going to spend this, use it to get the Lassie tattoo. I'm going to do it. But I was like, where do I go? I don't know where to go. I don't know who to go to. There's like a bunch of tattoo shops by where I live. They're up the street. No offense. <laughs> Some of them are like... They're kind of sketchy, and I'm like, I don't want to go to those. They kind of look like they don't really do the job right. And of course, I want to go to somebody that's, you know, that's going to do a hell of a job. So, um, my brother's wife, my brother's wife, she has a lot of tattoos. My family is not into tattoos, really. Um, so, I, was kind of, I, I kind of hinted towards them, like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm thinking of getting one. And they're like, no. They're pissed. They didn't want to deal with that, and they're like, "Nope." 
So I decided, like, I just hinted every now and then, like, you know, I'm thinking of getting one. And they're like, don't do it. And I, I'd show, show my parents, like, look, I'm thinking of this. And they're like, don't do it. I get pissed. And they didn't even really want to talk about it. Uh, I remember my mom was saying, what the hell is that? Is that a bug? Why do you want a bug on your arm? And I was like, it's not a bug. And I didn't really bother explaining to her what it was. No, she had tuned me out. But, um, when I'm happening, you know, I told my, I asked my brother's wife, because she has, she almost has a sleep going on, and I asked her, like, where do you go for one? And she told me, oh, I have a friend of mine that does tattooing. I can, you know, you can go see her, and I'll tell her. And I was, like, I was, like, hyped. I was, like, hell yeah, this is gonna happen. I'm gonna do it anyways. So I ended up, she would send pictures to her tattoo artist, and... She said she was down. So that day when it finally came up, I finally got my text and I told her, let's do this. It so happened to be Mother's Day. I'm not making this up. Mother's Day for, I think like for Mexico, May 10th. I still remember that. May 10th is when I got this tattoo. And I remember that day my mom was like super happy that day. She was like, let's, I'm going to make a cake. I'm going to do it, make some good food for everybody, just like in a good mood, and I was like, shit, and I told my, um, brother, my, my brother's wife, my sister-in-law, she was telling me, alright, we're gonna do it today, it's this much, I'm like, okay, let's go, and she's like, I'm gonna lie to your mom, it's gonna suck, I'm like, I know, we're both lying, and it really does suck, so we just told her, like, you know, we're gonna go to the mall, get you a gift never got that gift for her, but we went, and she's like, okay, go shopping for a little bit, come back for the food, and we're like, alright, and my mom's like, alright, nice mom, my sister-in-law's like, let's hurry up, let's get going, we go over there, I'm like, nervous as hell, and that day was a really nice day, because I remember it being, like, gloomy, and like, it looked like it was raining, and it, like, it was going to rain, and it, like, it smelled like wet dirt, which I like the smell of, and I was like, this is a perfect day, kind of, and... I went in the tattoo shop, met her tattoo artist, she was pretty, she was really nice. Um, she started working on my arm, and like, at first everybody was like, oh, it's gonna hurt, you know, when I'm, for me, I was like, I'm not afraid of how it's gonna feel like, I'm more of afraid of my, my family, my family's gonna kill me, I'm more afraid of them than the tattoo. So, they, she started working on my, my arm, and it, it hurt like hell. At that time, it hurt like hell. And in my head, I was like, this is my first tattoo, so I didn't know what it was supposed to feel like. And I, I was thinking, like, I guess that's how it feels, because it, like, it hurts a lot. And the annoying part was, she, every time she was tattooing, every now and then she kept, like, putting antibiotic soap and just cleaning it. Every, like, god, like, every 15 minutes, 30 minutes or so, she like a lot. She'd always do that. And I'd be like, what the hell are you doing? This hurts. It feels like you're putting some damn lemon on my, like an open wound and just spreading it with salt. So it, it hurt a while and I was like, damn, this, shit, this shit's like killing me. But I was like powering through and she would ask me like, do you want to take a break? And I'm like, no, just keep going. Like, keep going. I don't know. Just do it while it's getting numb. But to be honest, it like felt like felt like the best way I could explain it for me at that time was when she was doing the outline, it just felt like a bee was dragging his butt, and then when he was sh she was coloring in the, just filling in the, the tattoo, it felt like she got a piece of, like a piece of glass, a sharp piece of glass, and just like scraping in. But that's how it felt for me. So I made it through it, I was like, yeah, I love it, and then it came out really good. The um, only thing that kind of sucks now that I kind of wish, you know, now I probably would have gone to somebody else because like, um, she, that tattoo artist was still kind of learning, she's, she's probably most likely gotten way better now, um, she practically like scarred me, she scarred my, it doesn't look like it's scarred, which is cool, but when you feel it, you can feel the little bumps, like the little lines on my skin. You know, with my other tattoos, you don't feel anything. It just feels like regular skin. Um, but she pretty much carved me like a pumpkin. But I'm just thankful it doesn't look 
like she carved the hell out of me. But I love it. I don't regret this. Um, I went home that day with my sister-in-law, and I was like, I was bleeding a lot. Like I had a lot of blood on my hands, and I was like, I was wearing a jacket, and it was like hard to put on the jacket. And I just told my sister-in-law, I'm just gonna run up into my room, clean this, wash off the blood and stuff, so my family won't freak out. My brother was already there, and he's like, he's like, I'm like, you're in trouble. So I got downstairs. Go downstairs, uh, I have still wearing my jacket, and I'm like, ooh, this hurts. And then I go downstairs, my niece at the time was probably like, like two, one, I don't, I don't remember, that's horrible, I don't remember my niece's age, but she was still little. And she, I sat next to her in the dinner table, my mom was cooking. And then my niece, like, she, I remember her just like, grabbing my arm, like, hi, and I'm like, oh, and I like quickly grabbed her, I'm like, no. Don't touch that. Then my mom came and she was massaging my shoulder. And then... No, she wasn't massaging my shoulder. She wasn't. I lied. She sat down. We started eating. And then my sister-in-law was looking at me like, Are you going to tell him? Are you going to tell him? I'm like, alright, I'm going to do it. So I took off my... I got up, took off my jacket. My, knee, my, my mom doesn't see me take off my jacket. I'm just behind her. And then I'm, as I'm behind her, I'm like, I start massaging my mom's shoulder. And I'm like, Mom, try not to freak out. Don't, like, you know. And then she, she, I could tell from looking at her from behind, she's like, she just turned around and then she looked at it. And then she went like that. Started to cry and I was like, damn, this is the worst feeling in the world. This sucks. Uh, the pain that I was feeling in my arm went away. I felt more like an um, internal pain, like an emotional pain. And I was like, damn, that sucks. Making your mom cry, it's not a cool thing. But I was, and then she's like, why didn't you tell me? And I'm like, I told her, well, I know you would stop me. And I know you, you know. I just told her, like, you know, this is something I really wanted, you know. And at least it wasn't like a naked chick or, no offense, guys, if you have that. But, you know, like some random girl's name that I don't know of or a gang sign, something like that. So... She was like, she was upset, and then my dad comes home from work, and he's all happy, and we're already like, ugh. <laughs> my, my dad comes, and he gets, starts massaging my neck, and I'm like, oh shit, he's gonna choke me and break my neck or something, and he sees it, and he's pissed, he's upset, and my parents still talk to me for a week, so almost a week or two, they didn't talk to me at all, and I... I remember them asking me, do you regret it? I'm like, no, I, I still don't regret it. I love it. This is my first one. This is my first tattoo, and it's like... I've only had, like, one person, right? Two, two, two to three people recognize where it's from, but... I mean, that's... I love it. I mean, I'm not gonna be the kind of guy that's gonna be like... Got it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm rambling, but, I mean, I've had people... What does it mean? What does it mean to you? That sounds stupid, stuff like that. But I'm like, I really love the design. To me, it looks badass. And, I mean, it's just for me, like, I kind of see it like it's my first tattoo. And, I mean, it's... The time I look at it, I'll be like, keep pushing through. Just to reach your goal. But, I mean, I... Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm like, uh, it's badass. I love it. Freaking love it. I've even had some people be like, is that some Indian stuff, or is that, are you Indian? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't bother explaining to people, I'm just like, whatever. You either know it or you don't. If you do know it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, cool. Well, yeah, there's my Lissy tattoo, and I just wanted to share this story to you guys. I'll probably, like, tell you these other stories and the ones I have. Um, yesterday, I recently just got this one, and this one's, like, fresh. Got how to go from fully fully yesterday. I'm not done. I'm going through sessions, so. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. You guys can tell me, like, your first tattoo moments or anything. Um, but yeah, I'll probably put, like, pictures of it at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, that's the story of my first tattoo. Um, something I'd probably suggest, like, people, I feel like people try to scare you, like, oh, it's gonna hurt, and I'm like, it's always gonna hurt, but I mean, you can power through it. It's up to you, really, on your pain tolerance. If you want to get one, go for it.
for it, but this is the first tattoo where I've, I've thought about it for a long time. And even though some people don't like the game, you know, I don't mind. That's their opinion. I enjoyed the game. <laughs> it took me a long time to beat it, but I loved it. So, oh yeah. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to see if I can post, you know, more updates on what's going on. I'll, I'll see if I can put another video by next week or two. Been pretty busy, but I hope you enjoyed my story. I'll talk to you guys later. It's for now, peace. Take care.